Have you ever wondered what these little copper things are in all my videos or pictures that I post online? Well, we're gonna cover that right now in this video. So I've been wanting to make this video for a long time and I'm finally just now getting around to it. So a lot of my posts on Instagram and Facebook, people always ask me, what is this copper thing that's in the background? Is it a magnet? Is it a pin? Is it a bullet? You know, I always get, what is this? So we're gonna cover exactly what a Clico is by definition, and I'm gonna show you how it works. A Clico is a temporary fastener developed by the Cleveland Pneumatic Tool Company. Um, it's widely used in the manufacturing and repairing of aluminum skins and aircraft and sheet metal parts in the restoration and metal shaping community. Uh, it's used as a temporary fastener for sheets of material to go together, uh, hold parts such as stiffeners, frames, uh, quarter panels, roof inserts, uh, that holds them all together temporarily until they can be permanently joined together by welding or riveting, whatever your application is. All right, so this is a Clico, and you can see the two barbs there at the end. Um, those come out, so we'll put it in the Clico pliers, so it takes a special pair of pliers, and as you squeeze that, the two little barbs come out on the outside, and they go, this is what will go inside of the pre-drilled hole. And then as you let it back out, it expands and squeezes the pieces. So I can show you on a piece of sheet metal how that works. So here we have some Clecos. This is on an overlapped panel. So you can see, you know, it collapses down in there and I shove that through and then it draws together and it holds them. All right, so here we have the test panel and I've got two different types of seams set up. I've got an overlapped panel which is here and it's exactly what it sounds like. The panels overlap and then the Clecos go through to hold it together. Um, I do that a lot and I'll overlap it and then I'll scribe this line and I'll trim it, file it, and then I'll butt weld everything. The other option which you can do towards the beginning or later on is you can set it up as a butt weld seam. and. I use and make these little uh, Clico bridge tabs. Uh, they come in, that's an eight one, one on here six, and a four. Uh, I'll drop the link to that in the video description if anybody's interested in those. Uh, so what you can do, as you can see, we can take that off and then line everything back up. and they go right back together. So essentially, the Clico is very similar to using the concept of sheet metal screws, but sheet metal screws will kind of chew the hole out and you'll have to go to bigger and bigger screws as you go throughout. Um, Clicos don't wear the hole out and they're reusable forever as long as you don't damage the Clico itself. Um, Clicos come in all kinds of different sizes and shapes. This is just a standard one for like an eighth inch hole. Uh, they go up and down in size. I've got some little stumpy ones. And then you can get longer reach ones if you're doing uh, you know, multiple layers or really thick material. This one doesn't use the special pliers. This one uses a nut to adjust in and out. Well, hopefully that explains kind of what a Clico is and what it's used for. Um, so I really appreciate you guys watching and uh, make sure to subscribe and check back for future videos. Thanks for watching.